In this short video, I'm just going to show you another method of how to install the bendy ball onto an MDF step. In the original video, we've done it with a solid pine step, but MDF being the construction it is, isn't as strong, so the pressure of the bendy ball can actually pull back out again. I've got a, an offcut of LVT I'm going to use to measure the circumference of the step. Just place that against the edge, just use that tag to hold it in position. And bring it around your curve. I've applied some masking tape to the back and got my inlay there just with my mark of the where the nil post sits. Get that in position. And I can just use the back marker and mark up onto the bendy ball itself. If I was fitting it flush, then that would be my cut and it'd give me a nice tight fit. But because I'm going to be feeding into the null post, I want to actually go over about 10 to 15 mil. cut piece I want to keep hold of. That's going to be used to mark up the null post itself. So the bendy ball itself is four and a half mil thick. But using a five mil drill bit, So I've drilled out a few holes there. Another way of doing it is to just take the multi-tool and follow these two lines. We've got the gap down this side. Once the inlay goes in, That will close up nicely. So we've got our slot cut. We can take our proper bendy bolt, get it in there, and we can form the the pre bend.
even just by putting the pressure on the, the profile itself, you can see that it's still locked into position. There's our pre bend just allowing for confined spaces, it just eases the material a bit. The cracking you heard is just the, the chrome plating slightly cracking on the back, but it's not even visual to be honest, you can't even see it. Once I'm happy with the way it's performing, I can now feed it back in again and just bring it all the way around, make sure you're in the, the right position. So obviously we can't gauge that that depth cut as much as we'd like. Another little tip with the bendy ball is we're bringing a flat plate around a curved circumference which is also rounded as well. So it's gonna to wanna to slightly tip or adjust up and down. So we can actually do micro adjustments. If we can see there, we've got a little bit of difference in the height. So I could work it with my fingers and work it that way. Just for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna come right to the top of the hole, the bradle, and just form a pre-drill what that does is the, the screw literally just pulls up a fraction. The inlay I've cut to the same size as the bendy ball so I'll have a bit of a, a recess in there. I'm going to come flush off the other end before I do anything because I've got to feed it in I don't particularly need to use that last bit of tape. So I just As you'll see, I've actually ground off the screw heads. It's just something that I personally prefer to do. The screws do go and just make sure you don't use a, an impact driver um, and check the torque settings on your, your screwdriver. I'm going to apply a bit of heat to the, the inlay, just to allow it to form around the curve a little bit more. You don't need to apply a lot of heat, just enough to make it a little bit more flexible. And once I come around to that point, because I've taken the, I haven't, because I haven't taken the topping off the tape, that will just slide into place. Give it a bit of pressure. 